Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Friday. Hey, um, with this day, I'm actually going to use this uh, to be cheery and peppy. I've got some bragging rights here. Um, it's about the the migrant crisis that's going on right now. Um, another broadcast has been dispatched out saying Eagle Pass is overwhelmed and uh, Eagle Pass, Texas, for those of you who don't know. Um, Eagle Pass, Texas is being overwhelmed and El Paso overwhelmed and the border overwhelmed. Greg Abbott has put it closed down uh, all uh, border crossings except for two uh, and he's messing everything up again. Okay, for the record, just like last time, I think it was $12 million an hour goes through, <coughs> excuse me, goes through those borders of uh, $12 million per of business per hour. Okay. So every time he stops it up, he's hurting business with the rest of us. Okay. With the rest of the Texas and with the rest of the nation. And this is his solution to handling the border crossings. Speaking of which, the media right now is posting, you know, all of these photos and all of these videos of all these migrants that are coming in and turning themselves in to the law enforcement. Okay? There's no overwhelming anything. There's no invasion. They're, they're crossing... First, they're going into the water, dragging themselves all the way underneath the uh, razor wire barrels and then coming out on, uh, on top of water on the other side, okay? Which is another failure of Governor Greg Abbott, okay? He threw all that. He did this inhumane act of putting razor wire uh, barrels uh, in the water, cutting up people and in some cases killing them, you know, just to have it a, another failure at border security. Now, remember, he's gone up to six billion plus in suing the government for in the name of border security. OK, where did that money go? He spent one point nine million on those barrels for about two miles of barrel and and razor wire wall okay to top it all off the thing kept floating it across the river and winding up on mexican uh soil which was a violation of the uh, international water treaties and it more than likely participated in making it accept uh, accessible for the mexican or the migrants to cross that that border, uh, the wire wall, okay? Because once you got it on your side, close on your beaches, you can actually do stuff like, I don't know, cut the wire or bunch them together to where it creates an opening. And that's just the parts where it sailed up to land. The rest of the stuff that's in the water, well, they wound up just holding their breaths for a while and crawling underneath it and then coming out on top. On, on our side of the waters. And then to top it all off, they're not raiding and invading. They're turning themselves in to law enforcement. For the record, the law enforcement happens to be the National Guard that Biden has sent there, 2,500. And then another 800 on the way right now as, as this recording is going on. This is why I'm this is what I'm talking about with my bragging rights. There's no invasion. An invasion involves an army. There's no crisis as long as everybody gets organized. Biden's got everything organized. It's Abbott that's screwing shit up, making a big mess, and then saying, well, Biden's not doing his job. Biden, it's all Biden's fault. No, it's not. It's my Texas governor's fault. This is what I've been talking about for the past two years whenever this subject came up. And then to top it all off, 
He's making trillions of dollars of messes while suing the government for up to six billion plus now. Uh, I've lost track as to how many times he's won, how many cases he's won. And it's off of our tax paying dollars. I mean, what more do you want? I'll tell you what, what more I want. I want a criminal investigation being done. 1.9 million out of 6 billion. Where's the rest of that money, Abbott? Where in the world is the rest of that money? And then to top it all off, Abbott, in order to, for, to, to keep border security, he has taken money out of the health and human services, family protective and family services, and, uh, uh, oh, juvenile justice system, you know, so we've got more unhealthy, less protected, and far more uh, dangerous families all the way down to juveniles, all the way down to kids, you know, because he keeps taking money out of those accounts. And putting it into the Operation Lone Star, which is the border security that, as you now can see, here in, in, in September of 2023, it's a complete dismal failure. And all he keeps saying is, this is Biden's fault. No, it isn't. This is all off of our taxpaying dollars, your taxpaying dollars, people, your taxpaying dollars. And as long as you keep turning a blind eye, as long as you keep getting exhausted with this subject, as long as you keep not paying attention to actually what's going on and, and just listening to all the rhetoric and the propaganda, you know, it's going to keep coming out of our taxes. It's going to keep coming out of your taxes. It's going to keep coming out of that. What we need is a criminal investigation as to why Abbott is taking all this money and ab producing absolutely nothing in the process. And he needs to pay a fine. He needs to pay a heavy fee, a heavy fine. Maybe even time served. Why not? Let me let me put it to you this way. On a merchandise level, if you bought a product that says it's safe and it wasn't safe, you'd want your money back. If you bought kept buying a product that kept telling you, well, it's safe now. Not only would you want your money back, you'd want that business closed down. Now take it, take that same analogy, but put it into the political aspect concerning our border security. Lawsuit after lawsuit, millions after millions, totaling up to six billion in two years. What uh, attempt after attempt? Of securing the in the name of securing our border and it coming up with the same worthless results. Honestly, where's the you you want demand for border security? Where's the demand for punishing the doofus? Excuse me. Where's the demand for punishing the political leader who's not living up to his end? Where's the demand for the punishment of our political leaders? That suing the government, taking up six billion dollars of your taxes, and and no matter what he does, razor wire barrels, more troops from other states, uh, closing the border, uh, closing border crossings, uh, halting business, costing us even more problems. You know, where's the demand that that where's the demand for him to face justice? You know, and then to top it all off, disrupting what the president's doing and then saying, well, he's not doing his job, dude, 
people. Let's start with this Texas governor, then move on to Arizona, who's doing the same shit. Move over to Florida. DeSantis that's doing the same shit. Disrupting every flow, every everything that makes everything a smooth flow. Just to point the finger at somebody else. Pocket donations and charity and all this stuff and say you're welcome. Because I'm, I'm pretty much tired of hearing this stuff and I'm... Uh, and I'm going to keep on saying it no matter how many times I need to. Sorry for all the squishing of them. Otherwise, I don't mean to sound disgusting. It's just that everything that, it, that we eat these days has tons and tons of salt. And it just leaves that gritty uh, uh, feel on the, on, the, um, on the teeth. So, yeah... Yeah, this is my bragging rights section right here, man. This is my bragging rights. Oh, there was also a picture, and I forgot what it was. I think it was through the Associated Press. There was a picture of a bunch of migrants, you know, the invaders, that were sitting under a, a bridge trying to stay cool and hydrated while watching an American play golf. Right, Pastor? Now, so where's the crisis, you know? Where's the crisis? You got a bunch of migrants that cross the border and they're waiting patiently to be picked up, taken in and processed while watching Americans golf right in front of them. The golfer was just like 25 yards in front of them. And I, I, I think it's through the Associated Press. It's a picture through the Associated Press uh, of that being taking place over there in the Rio, Rio Grande uh, River here in, in Texas, okay? Where's the where's the invasion? What invasion? What are, what are these people talking about being overwhelmed? Overwhelmed. You can't even walk in our public streets anymore, but you can play golf? What the hell? <laughs> this, this is total BS, man. I'm telling you, it's all a bunch of crap. It's propaganda to either join people of hate or to be donating and giving and charity and paying this and, and letting uh, those that profit off of that bankroll their, their funds, okay? Give to this organization. Well, where's all the money going to? Well, hold on. The workers still need to be paid. You get what I'm saying? Whether you're pro-humanitarian or anti-humanitarian, all of this crap that's being fed onto you is just so you can fall sucker to whatever they telling you to believe. Okay. Now, if you notice, I'm not giving any, asking for any organizations. Don't you send me no money. Don't you send me anything. Why? Because I'm one of you. I'm talking with you like person to person. I'm just filling you guys in. Guys, there's no invasion. I'm down here in Texas. I'm traveling all over Texas with my jobs. My job is either delivery. Back then it was Uber when I first started. Now I'm a delivery guy. And I can honestly tell you, there's no invasion down here. I'm driving all over Texas. There's no invasion. There's no crisis. All there is is obstruction from my governor that's interfering with the government's uh, uh, handlings, interfering with Alejandro Mayorkas, interfering with uh, uh, Harris. I mean, they're not even acknowledging anything that she's doing. They're just saying that she's not showing up. She's administering the crap. The pap She's doing the paperwork up in D.C., which is fine for somebody like me as long as stuff is getting done. You know, Biden's getting stuff done. Everybody underneath him is getting stuff done. It's our local uh, state governors that are screwing shit up. DeSantis, Ducey, and uh, and mine, which is Greg Abbott. They're the only one. They're mucking everything up. And so far, for some oddball reason, you believe them when they say, Biden's not doing his job. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Wake up, people. Open your eyes. Take a look for yourselves. Especially if you're here in Texas. 
take a look for yourselves. There's no migrant crisis, people. There's no invasion. You're not under attack. We're not under attack. It's all hype. It's all propaganda. It's all rhetoric preached onto you. It's all propaganda. Oh, let's feel sorry for this and feel sorry for them. Blah, blah, blah. It's all propaganda. It's all hype. It's all meant for you to fall in whatever they believe. What are you going to believe? Them or your own eyes? That's all that it is, people. All right. It's time for me to shut down. I said what I needed to. Uh, you guys take care. Y'all take it easy. Um, take a step back and look at everything. And look at what's going on. Um, we'll catch you later. Y'all have a good and safe weekend. I can't remember. I tried to. I forgot to look up what events is going on. Uh, I don't think there is any. I think there might be a couple of uh, music venues. Uh, which means if you're looking at this uh, segment out of another state, you know that there's another, you know what uh, events and, and music venues and, and stuff that's going on, plays and acts and musical acts and all that. <laughs> Plus you've got school functions. You know, you got the football and all that good stuff. Um, be careful, Okay. Be careful, take care, and, and, and take care of each other and look out for one another. Because if you're looking out for your fellow man, you're also looking out for the douchebag that's going to try to muck it up and ruin everything. You know, be it with a gun or a weapon or whatever, you know. Um, just keep on keeping on, keep taking care of each other, keep looking out for yourselves and, and uh, each other. And uh, we'll see you next time, okay? This is Chris with Chris's Comments. Signing out. Y'all have a good one.